Hey girls, Kaylee here. For this tutorial, I decided to do an old Hollywood inspired curls tutorial. And I'm showing you how to do it with curls or with really soft waves. I've gotten this requested a lot and I really wanted to do it because I love old Hollywood inspired things. I think this is fantastic for New Year's or any kind of formal event you might have coming up. And it's super easy and really pretty. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna split your hair in front of your ears and section it out of the way because we don't wanna deal with that first. Then you're gonna split your hair in half in the back. And make sure you apply some heat protectant. Then split one side in half horizontally and secure it out of the way. Then you're gonna take sections that are rectangular. You want them longer than they are wide. Mine is about three inches long and one inch wide. And then you're gonna curl perpendicular, I'm sorry, parallel to your head all the way down, making sure you get that curl really nice and close to the base. Then what you're gonna do is take that curl and wrap it around two fingers and pin it right on top of the roots that we just curled. That's gonna help it to set and hold your curl a lot longer and create a little bit of volume as well. So you're gonna wrap like so and pretend like you have a roller on it. That makes it a little bit easier. Hold it against your head and pin it. Then you're gonna let the rest of the hair down and split that in half again, just cause there's a lot of hair there. And secure the top half out of the way. And then take rectangular sections once again and curl parallel to the head. And you can see the way that I curl here is to kind of clip the iron really close to the scalp and pull out just a couple inches, like so, and then you twist it back up. So you pull and then twist back up, pull and then twist back up. You might wanna practice that with a cold iron a couple times, but once you master that technique, it's so much easier to curl your hair. And it also helps you to get that nice volume up at the top as well. So that's the method that I use to create these curls. Then you're gonna wrap it around your fingers. And once again, wrap it up close to your head and pin it in place. And make sure that when you're doing this, you actually have the roots going upward and that creates more volume, which is gonna be great for this top section. You're gonna continue doing the same thing, curling parallel to your head and making sure to really pull those roots up, especially on the top because we really want volume right here on this side. So you can see I'm pulling at an upward kind of diagonal angle, trying to make sure that we get a lot of volume. And also if you want to spritz your hair while, with hairspray while it's on the iron, that will help you to have more holds. And then you're gonna let the hair in front of the ears down and do the same thing, pulling in an upward diagonal direction, just to continue to get that volume and feed the hair through the curling iron. And wrap it up and pin it in place. And you're just gonna continue that through this section. I decided to leave my fringe for the very end because I kinda like doing that once I have everything else done. But you can do that here if you want to as well. We're being really precise with this here because actually in the 1940s and kind of the old Hollywood days, they would do this with when their hair was wet and they would use rollers and let it dry. And this was really, really precise and really elaborate. So I'm kind of trying to mimic that a little bit. So on the other side, you're gonna split your hair in half again. And on this side, you're actually gonna cur curl toward your face, which is a very old Hollywood thing to do. And I really love this look. So you're gonna curl it toward your face. You're gonna wrap it up and then you're gonna pin it in place again. Again, you're going parallel to your head. This is the exact same thing we did on the other side. It's just going towards your face. And wrap and pin. This also really reminds me of something Selena Gomez did on the red carpet recently that I got a lot of requests for. So I hope you guys like that for this as well. And then this last section, you're gonna pull it away horizontally from your head. You're not gonna create as much volume because you want the volume on the other side so it's more asymmetrical and dramatic. So you can see I'm pulling this at kind of a 90 degree angle from my head. It's kind of horizontal rather than upward and diagonal. And that's just gonna help to create a little bit of asymmetry there and a little bit more drama to the look. Then you're gonna let the hair down in front of the ear and you're gonna curl it the exact same way, just pulling it parallel to the ground and then wrapping it up and then you wanna pin it at the same height as your eye just to kind of create that shape right there. And once you have that all wrapped up, you can just let those curls sit until they're nice and cool. However long it takes your hair to cool down is however long you need. And then you can go ahead, if you wanted to leave your fringe to the end, you can go ahead and do that. And you can see I pulled that down at a downward diagonal angle so it would fall over my eye and create that kind of old Hollywood thing. Then you can let your curls down and this is what they'll look like if you want some kind of soft but still defined curls. Now, if you wanna have soft waves, you can actually take a comb and comb through your hair, which is another old Hollywood thing to do. Now, it's scary to comb through your curls, but I promise it's okay. And then you can also, if you need to shape them, you can actually take them and comb them around your hands, and it kind of creates 
some shape there. So if you know that there's a shape you want to create, you can just come around your hand and it will create that. So that's it. Whichever one you decided to do, I hope you love it.